everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Tessie and this is Homestead Tessie. Hi everybody and welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. It's another rainy day so I'm sitting in the greenhouse because my granddaughter just decorated my greenhouse. So she made me a beautiful sign and she did some decorating. So we're going to have Thrifty Thursday in the greenhouse because I don't want to get all wet and it's been muggy and rainy. Been a crazy, crazy week. All right, let me show you what I got. So this is what I got this week at the thrift store. Now it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And everything I get, I have an idea for it. I hope you saw last week how I decorated my house and I decluttered and I organized some things. The first thing I want to share with you guys, I went to the post office. Now, Thrifty Thursdays is the day I go away. And my daughters always take me and it's right near the post office. And so one of you lovely ladies got me this and she found it at the Dollar Tree, I think. It's cards with all kinds of spices on it. So I'll show you the reference cards. I'm gonna be using these a lot in my videos this winter when I'm cooking. I spent $6.74. So I did go over my $5, but I had enough of money to roll that over to the next week because I had $10. First thing I got was for $0.35 cents was this quaint little cookbook, handwritten. Now, of course, it is printed, but it's handwritten for $0.35 cents from Ida Lap. And Ida actually signed it. It has a whole bunch of Amish. It has a whole bunch of Amish recipes like soft pretzels. So this is a perfect book for me to make a video on. 35 cents. And then for 50 cents, I got this. <laughs> Freezer bags. As you know, I love working with vintage items. And so you've seen me use freezer boxes and how to freeze food. So here we got the baggies, freezer bags. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's a tetty thing, but it is a thing that a lot of you guys do. So it's not just a Tessie thing. Okay. Now, you all know that I love making labels. And for 50 cents, I got sticker paper. Yeah, I hardly ever see this. And it's a lot of sheets. For 50 cents, I got sticker paper to make my labels for all my canned foods that I can. So that was really happy with that because I don't see that hardly ever. Then I got two of these. They were 75 cents each. I thought that was really expensive, but I'm going to be making little raspberry pies. Now it's not necessarily made for pies, but I'm going to bring back a very, very old memory of my mom. My mom always made little pies, one for her and one for daddy. They didn't have big pies. They had small little pies. So for 75 cents, I got these, which will be an upcoming video. See, whenever I go thrifty Thursday, I don't just pick out things that I like. I pick out things that I think will make great videos. So it's a win-win situation. I can have fun, I can go shopping, and then I can turn those items into videos. And I thought this was cute for 50 cents. It's a glass bottle. It's for water. You know what I have to do, right? Smells like water. <laughs> smells like water. <laughs> what does water smell like? <laughs> oh, Tessie. I said it smells like water, like water has no scent, does it? Rain has a scent. Hey, that gets me thinking. Water has no smell, right? I mean, if it's like pure water, not chlorinated. But rain smells kinda, oh, you know what? The rain doesn't smell, it's when it hits the earth. It smells like rain. These are the things that go around and around and around in my head. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm going to do something with this. Oh, you know, probably make some kind of cleaner. <laughs> I love doing that. It's so much fun in the winter time, getting one of them out and I know. Now that may be a Tessie thing. All right, so for 75 cents, I got this and I thought this is what it was and this is what it is. It is lattice. It's to make lattice on a pie like that. But I was thinking, couldn't I make noodles? So, and I got the pasta machine. So I'm gonna be doing a video on that. It's just so much to do right now. It's cause it's harvest time. But I'm gonna be doing a video on the pasta maker. Then I'm gonna be making the noodles. I'm gonna be making noodles, um, 
Popeye noodles, which I've done a lot of videos on that as well. But that was 75 cents, and I think this is what it is. Yeah, 75 cents, and I could use this for all kinds of things. Could make crackers, enjoy your lattice pastry maker, cooking the American way. The American way, so I'm guessing it was made in America. So we are going to be working on that. And then I got this, and I thought this was really charming. It talks about insects and butterflies. I really like it, and I'm going to be using that out here with another project I'm working on. I know, it's like every time I talk to you guys, it's like a project. Project, project, project. That's how it is with me. I love working on different things. All right, so the, these, this, these were half off, I think. Yes, the books were half off. Look at this one. Isn't that neat? Quantity foods, spaghetti and meatballs. So my idea was I could make one of these recipes and make enough to freeze. See, that? that's what I was thinking in my head. So I could make enough of these to freeze, large quantity, chicken soup. I could make enough of that to can. Oh, but the noodles. So I got that for a dollar, which was 50 cents because the books were half off. And then this was 25 cents. Now, this is to put greeting cards in it, but I'm gonna be putting garden seeds in it, and let me explain why. So every month, I can put a different kind of garden seed in it, because some garden seeds I plant in April, some in May, some in June, and some in July. This is gonna be my little gardening book, and I'm gonna work on this real soon, once I get all of this other harvesting stuff done, but for 25 cents, I know I'm a stickler for things that are cheap, but you could even put extra seeds in here. Think of the possibilities. Like, you could give this as a gift. A lot of my Thrifty Thursday finds, I will actually make gifts out of them. Like this, I would take, put it in a basket, and put some garden seeds in here, and get some little trowels and some little things from the garden, and it would be beautiful. 25 cents. I had to take it home. I had to. I had to take it home. And then for another 25 cents, I got this. I had to, it was so dear. Okay, and I'll show you why I like this. Because it has old fashioned clip art. Now, you could use this as a book. You could cut the things out of it. You could make cards out of it for 25 cents. I could make all kinds of labels with it. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I think it's adorable. What it says is, most days, some days, and every day, make a difference versus procrastinating. Oh my word, I didn't even see what this said, so let me, let me say it to all of you. Making a difference or procrastinating. Making a difference is what I want to choose. Tickled pink versus feeling blue. Hmm, there's a good one for all of us. A fashion do, a fashion don't. Some would say this is a fashion don't, well, some would say it's a fashion do. Ready, ready to face the world versus back under the covers. Today I'm ready to face the world, but yesterday I was under the covers because I have like four baskets of grapes to can. Taking a break versus working on it. You know, that's a really good thing. This is going to get really long, I know. Taking a break versus working on it. I think it's both. I think you work on something, but then you take a break. If you work all the time, you just get burned out. I learned that. So today, you can decide what you're going to do. What day is it for you? Are you tickled pink? I hope so. Are you feeling kind of blue? I hope not. <laughs> I know people talk about me saying that I should be a school teacher, <laughs> a children's teacher. I'm so animated. I've always been this way. And I did homeschool my children, but that's when they were older. But I just thought this was really charming, and I know I'm just talking your ear off today, but I hope I made you smile. That's all about it. You know, a frown, it's just a smile upside down. Think about it. And did you know it takes a lot more muscles to make a frown than to make a smile? That's another thing to think about. I hope I made you smile, or I hope I, hope I made you smile today. I hope I brightened your day. Now, just don't go back under those covers, okay? Let's start a brand new day today. 
take care everyone oh unless it's 7 p.m. which you're watching now so all of you that are watching at 7 p.m. it's okay you can go under the covers now <laughs> because you know I go to bed at 8 p.m. yep I go to bed at 8 p.m. every night so unless you're watching it in the evening then it's okay but if you're watching it in the morning I hope you're having a great day and I hope that you get whatever you need accomplished done take care everyone and see you guys tomorrow that's a promise hold up hold up everybody don't leave me yet I just forgot I promise I'd show you the cards so these are the cards and each card has a beautiful picture and it talks about what's in the card aren't they cool and it also says what you can put together so blends different herbal blends isn't that amazing all right everybody see you guys tomorrow bye